Hi everyone and welcome to the Oklahoma Hall of Fame and Gaylord Pickens Museum's virtual Summer Thursdays. We're so excited to have you guys here for Safari Day. We want to take a moment to thank our sponsors with the Chickasaw Nation and the Inasmuch Foundation to make free family programming in 2020 possible. We're so excited so we're going to go ahead and jump right in. All right, so you guys know our mission is to tell Oklahoma story through its people. This is our building located in Midtown, Oklahoma City. We love this building and love getting to share it with you guys. Uh, we can't wait to show you all of the new exhibits and programs that we have in store for you. Don't forget we are open, so we'd love to see you all join us. Um, with our mission being Oklahoma, telling Oklahoma's story through its people, every day we work really hard to share the legacies of Oklahomans because we believe Oklahomans are changing the world. So today's Safari Day was inspired by Mr. Lee Allen Smith. Uh, Smith is most well known as Mr. Oklahoma City for his dedication to the city and state. And in 1990, he was even named the Oklahoman of the Year after he had helped maintain uh, several traditions in Oklahoma. And he's also helped implement several as well. So we tied him with, uh, with Safari Day because of a really cool connection that not many people know about for Mr. Smith. So when he was in the military, King Idris of Libya asked a young Lieutenant Smith to open a zoo on the Wheelis Air Force Base in North Africa and gave him a gazelle to help honor the occasion. So Mr. Smith helped start a zoo in North Africa. All right, so we're gonna read one of our favorite stories called Starry Safari. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that so you can read the story along with me. All right. Okay, there we go. So I'm gonna scoot over here a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna jump right in with Starry Safari. All right. Racing in my sturdy Jeep on Safari, beep, beep, beep. Passing fields where zebras feast, trailing herds of wildebeest. Gazing at a tall giraffe, bump into a rhino calf. Angry rhino starts to chase. Lanky ostrich joins the race. Floor the Jeep and go, go, go. Screech, a roadblock, a buffalo. Detour, take the river path. Join some hippos for a bath. That sounds like fun, doesn't it? Wallow in the mud a while, yikes, a wily crocodile. To the Jeep and toward the trees, somersault with chimpanzees. Swing with monkeys overhead, help gorillas make their bed. Find a clearing, pitch a tent, assisted by an elephant. Crawl inside and curl up tight. Listen to the noisy night. Hoot, snort, grunt, growl, shuffle, scuffle, whimper, howl, hiss, scratch, squeal, snore, Whistle, rustle, rumble, roar. Roar? What do you guys think is roaring? A lion circling round, it pauses. Crash, my tent falls down. Roar, he's ready to attack. Scare him off by roaring back. I don't know that I would have done that. Uh-oh, footsteps, greater danger. It's the big safari ranger. Finds me hiding, counts to 10 then tucks me into bed again. Hey, he was in his bed the whole time. Look at all of his toys down here and his Jeep. He still has a safari hat on though. All right, well, what a fun, fun story and fun adventure in Starry Safari. So today we're gonna make our own giraffes. So we're gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and get out all of our supplies here. Oop, one more piece. All right. So for Safari Day, we are going to make our own giraffes. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I need to, I'm going to set my eyes aside so I don't lose them and my little, my little pom-poms here. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is color my circles yellow and then give them brown spots. All right, has anyone ever seen a giraffe maybe at the zoo or something? Has anyone ever fed a giraffe? All right. Okay, so after we color our circles yellow, we're gonna put brown dots on them for the giraffe spots. All right. Okay, so 
got one colored yellow. I'm going to go ahead and color this one. Okay, now that both my circles are colored yellow, I'm gonna go ahead and give the giraffe some spots. Make them all different sizes here. All right, do you guys have a favorite safari animal? Mine is a giraffe, I love giraffes. What about you guys? What about lions? Um, gazelle, like Mr. Lee Allen Smith had at the zoo, of course. He didn't have one at his home, I don't think. Although that would be cool, wouldn't it? Okay. Let's see here. Okay, now that those all have dots. We're also gonna put brown dots on our paper, on our clothes pins because this is the giraffe's, um, this is gonna be its neck and their legs. So go ahead and put some dots on your clothespins. And just on either side, they don't have to be on the, uh, on the sides, on this part of it. All right, so make sure it has dots so it can, so its legs can, and neck can be spotted. Okay. After this, we're gonna go ahead and cut our pipe cleaners. I want us to get all of our pieces assembled and or colored and stuff, and then we can assemble the entire giraffe together. Okay, Just a couple more dots here. I wanna see my giraffe really spotted. Okay, so now that those are done, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut my pipe cleaner. And I need a couple of things. I need ears, I need horns, and I need a tail. So my ears, I'm gonna do first, and I'm gonna make my ears about that big, but there's not a set size for them. I'm gonna do my horns just a little bit taller. All right, get my horns here. Okay, so now that I've got my horns and now I'm gonna make my tail, make my tail a little bit longer. Perfect, okay, so I'm gonna set these aside now. And then, oops, the next thing I need to do with my tail is I wanna take my brown yarn, leave a little bit of room to attach it and twist it. around the pipe cleaner, just like that. And then we're gonna let it dangle a little bit. And I'm gonna kind of fray it just by rubbing it between my fingers a little bit. So it looks like a giraffe's tail. And you might need to fold the end of your pipe cleaner around your rope just a little bit, around your yarn just a little bit so that it sticks better and doesn't try to unwind, just like that. Okay, so now that we have that, set that aside. The other thing we want to do is we are going to attach our pom-poms to the top of our horns, just like that. With it, we're going to use glue dots to do that. So you want one glue dot per pom-pom. I'm just going to peel the plastic off here. Like so, set that aside. I'm gonna pick, I'm gonna put the glue dot on the pom-pom and you might need to use your finger to get it to originally onto the pom-pom. So it's on there now and now we're just gonna stick it to the top of our pipe cleaner like so. All right, so now we've got our pom-pom on top of our horn. We're gonna do the same thing with the other one. Okay.
There we go. Again, we're just going to stick it on the top of our horn, just like so. We're going to set that aside too. We also need to put eyes on our head here. So we're going to use our glue dots. All right. And these glue dots are bigger than our eyes. So I'm actually going to cut my glue dot in half, just like this. Set that aside. And then I'm going to stick the eye on the glue dot like that. And again, I might need to use my finger to get it off and to put it on the back of the glue dot. Or put it on the back of the eye like that. All right. Squish that down a little bit. Okay, put that on there right next to it. Okay, so now I have eyes. I'm going to go ahead and give them a mouth too. All right, and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and attach our ears and our horns. That way they're already on when we attach the rest of our body. So we're going to use our glue dots again. And I'm going to put one on the back of it at the very, very top. And I'm going to use that for both horns. Okay. Now that that's on there, I'm going to stick. Remember, I want my pom-poms facing forward. So there's one. Oh, I lost an eye. That's okay. All right, so now I have my horns. Let's see about spreading them out a little bit. There we go. Okay, now I need my ears. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip him back over and I need a glue dot for those. So I'm going to Go ahead and peel this off again. And my ears on giraffes go out to the side just a little bit. Outside of the horns, I should say. Okay, so just like that. And one more. Okay, there are my ears. Okay, so now my giraffe is ready for the rest of his body. So I'm gonna clip this on to his body, just like that. And then we're gonna use We're gonna use a glue dot on the top of this clothespin here to attach it. Okay. So we're gonna put a glue dot right here. There we go. And we're going to attach his head, just like so. Now he has a neck. All right. Now we need his legs. And his legs just clip on just like this. We need one more thing, his tail, of course. We're just going to use a glue dot on here to attach his tail. So you're just gonna put your glue dot on the underside, just like this, and just peel the plastic off. Remember, you may need to use your finger a little bit 
just like that. And we're just gonna stick his tail on. And now we have a giraffe. And the cool thing is, if we angle our legs just right, he will stand on his own. Well, my legs aren't angled just right. There we go. Perfect. All right. Go ahead and stop sharing this. Thank you guys so much for joining me for Safari Day. I've had so much fun with you guys and can't wait to join to uh, do this again with you next week. We hope to see you all soon. Bye.